Uh, okay, I just wanted to do a quick video on uh, the big three. So your pack, your tent, your sleeping bags, um, and just uh, what we chose and why we chose them. So first things first, the two packs. Uh, I originally bought an Osprey Aether uh, 60, I believe, and uh, great pack, extremely durable. You know, lots of great compartments, lots of great features to it. Uh, was very comfortable just a little bit too heavy. So um, after a bunch bunch more research and just seeing what a lot of other people use, I uh, ended up going with the very popular ULA circuit. Um, immediately cut the weight down to two pounds, six ounces, two pounds, two ounces, some people say. Um, but on the website, it's two pounds, six ounces for the medium size, medium hip belt, which I got. Um, and yeah, I mean, it is a great pack. It's just a top loading. Uh, single compartment pack, um, 4,200 4, cubic inches of volume, and then it has just a mesh pocket on the front, and then just something to cinch it down with. Uh, you can hang stuff, I guess, on the outside of your pack as well. Probably keep, you know, my camp sandals on the outside, and then uh, lots of extra straps. You can strap, probably throw a sleeping pad in there. Uh, two very generous water bottle pockets on the side with just another another strap to cinch that down. Uh, you got just extra loops for your trekking pole to put those on the outside of your pack. And then you know you pack everything in and you have these side straps to cinch it in. Uh, you got one thing I really like, two relatively large uh, hip belt pockets for whatever you want, obviously quick and easy access to whether it's snacks or you know your camera or whatever else um, you got these yellow these things here I don't know if I'm going to use them apparently they're for um, strapping a water bottle you know you strap it through the two little loops cinch them down holds it on pretty good don't know if I'll end up using them we'll see uh, pretty basic on the inside you have just a little compartment sleeve for your uh, a bladder and as well as just a simple mesh pocket for again anything you want relatively quick and easy access to that's pretty much it you know you roll it down to roll top so you roll it down a few times clips in there yada 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 that's pretty much it Julia went with, after a lot of research, and I believe at one time she actually owned three packs at home and ended up returning the other two, so um, she actually put more time and effort into choosing her pack than did I, um, and she ended up going with the uh, Gregory Jade 60. Uh, she is pretty small, so it's size extra small. Hers weighs 3 pounds 11 ounces, um, so it's not the lightest pack, but uh, it had a lot of features that she liked and one in particular is that uh, she has somewhat of a heavy sweater so uh, just a lot of you know airflow through the back so you have just the way it contours your back and then there's actually you know a mesh bit here that allows better airflow through there um, again a couple of hip belt pockets she likes those uh, I don't really know much about her pack to be entirely honest lots of good compartments she's She's really big into organizing and everything having its, you know, little place in the pack. So top pack there. Um, again, there's a spot on the inside for a water bladder. Pretty simple. She can access it through the front here as well. So she can access halfway down her pack if she wanted to open it up that way as well. Gain access through that. And then also on the front, she's got another pocket for whatever she wants to put through there and again loops for you know your trekking poles on the side if you want to hang something else off of there you got the straps on the bottom to hang something off the bottom and uh, that's pretty well it she's extremely happy with it so I'm happy as well uh, in terms of sleeping bags I went with the Western Mountaineering Ultralight rated to minus 20 and weighs 1 pound 13 ounces. I think it's 850 plus downhill. She went with the Marmon Helium and this guy's rated to minus 15 and is 2 pounds 9 ounces. 
So both pretty well. Uh, they've served us well already and looking forward to using them. That's pretty much it. You know, they look compact pretty good. And finally, our tent, it's Tarp Tent Squall 2. Uh, I'll throw up some photos of it just real quick. We used it a few times this summer and really liked it. Plenty big for the both of us and a good generous uh, vestibule area as well. So just basically takes this one rod, foldable rod, and then uh, a trekking pole for ground stakes. And for that, we also have a uh, Tyvek ground sheet cut specifically for it off the Tarp Tan website. Um, so that's pretty much it. With the Tarp Tan, you can see a video. I'll put a link to a video on the Tarp Tan website showing you how simple it is to, uh, to put this guy up, which is fantastic for us. Um, and actually, real quickly, just to keep things ultra light and well not really ultra light but ultra simple for us is um the uh, thermo rest z light so i got the regular julia got the short might end up cutting mine we'll see but uh you know you don't have to worry about puncture holes and so that's what we like about those